Okay, folks, we're going to bring you the problems with sliding of tandems today. And it's going to relatively be this brake knob here, which goes to the trailer. This one here goes the parking brakes. And what the problem is, sometimes you get uh, when you pull this right here trailer brake when you pull that trailer brake you go back you go back here and you need to slide this here's the tandems it's called the tandems here and you want to slide you want to pull that knob right there some of them different on different trailers. You pull that knob, and then this piece here slides. Now, if you notice, that hole is empty. But this one right over here has one in it. So there's one on this side, so at least there's one. You want one on each side there. On the back side of those knobs, on the back side of those has a little shaft that goes out and it's got a hole in it and sometimes if that don't one problem can be sliding these that pin don't want to go in so when that pin don't want to go in what happens is the spring on the other side did not release or, or, or it's not connected to it so it just stays out the spring just leaves it out or it just you know the pressure stays where it stays out like that instead of pulls it in so then you got to get that fixed and other things can uh, make it sometimes uh, you have to spray in them holes there WD-40 because sometimes in the winter it'll freeze up and you have to you know spray all these holes here uh, and so that can slide down through there if it gets in the winter time freezes up here are your drives drive tires in front of the trailer and then my first steers at the front. Now, um, I got two tips I'm gonna give you at the end of the video, so make sure you watch it to the end, because I got two tips I'm gonna give you that's gonna help you. Now, if you get where your tandems back there will not slide, you can't get them to slide. So the next option is, is come in here open up this battery door and you got to find these two uh actually got got your two tanks down there and what you do is you find these two things right here and this right here moisture in them tanks so what happens is moisture gets in the lines back there goes through the line system and when you do you drain them tanks uh, you know that's this one here this is your emergency brake here and this one here feeds your trailer this one do too but and uh, but what happens is it fills up both moisture and so you have to pull these lines here so that you can release all the moisture out of the lines and then pump new air through there and then your pins over here that pin there it's supposed to be one in that hole but there's not one there but there's not another one and your kingpins will slide in then, and then you can move this to wherever it need to be. Down, you know, I like mine. You know, I count normally when I slide it from the red DLT bumper. I go one, two, three, four. I like it sitting right here. This is about the 43 mark right here. Somewhere 40, 43 mark, and right in here. But for this particular load here, 
<clears throat> I had to slide it all the way forward. Even though it's only 36,000 pounds, they put all the weight, the nose of the trailer. And up there's the nose of the trailer. Down here, it's the back of the trailer. And so that there is what happened here is this one's having to be slid all the way forward because if I slide it anywhere back, you know, this way, it ends up being too heavy. And so it's only 74,000 pounds, but still, uh, I don't want to be overweight. And also sitting at a, I'm sitting at a, almost a half a tank of fuel. And my truck up there sitting at a half a tank. So, you know, per gallon of fuel is uh, eight pounds per gallon. And so whenever you're trying to distinguish or to set your tandems here to know where these right here need to set, you need to give an account how much fuel you're gonna have to put in to fill it up so that you can know the difference of uh, weight down here. Cause a lot of times what happens is, is if your weight is, you know, uh, over, over like somewhat, not overweight really, but um, uh, trouble comes in when you fill up and then you don't re-weigh, you don't weigh your load to find out whether your load is still legal to ride down the road. And so what happens is, is whenever you do this, um, you'll fill up and then boom, there you are. You go go off down the road, you run up on a weight station and got a weight ticket because you done filled up, thought your weight was still good and it wasn't. All right, there's a tip. Uh, first tip is uh, I wanted to tell you, I told you I wanted to uh, introduce you to a tip here. And say for instance, you go like to a truck, stop, a truck wash to get your trailer washed out and you got your air condition on or the you know air condition on and you got your um, if you got an APU unit um, and, and it's running with you know any motors out there can't be running while your truck is in in uh, either in the shop or there at the uh, blue beacon or wherever you have your trailer washed out so the best thing to do is uh, this switch right here is up here on the dash and so what what you do is see this is on right now instead of coming back here hitting this right here turning it off and you can hear the APU unit running out there and you hear the air blowing what you do is you come up here and you just flip that up to on goes right over into standby and it turns it off so when it does that when it goes over to standby come back over here and you just flip that down and when you do the light goes off the air conditioning light starts blinking Air comes on. Then you the unit and crank back up. See there? The second tip is I wanted to introduce to you is this uh, landing gear right here. And this tip here is, um, if, if you back under your trailer here, and there's a lot of weight, and it's hard to turn this handle here, you know. And you know, the landing gear's down, all on the ground, and it's real hard to turn this. Best thing to do is get back inside your truck, and <clears throat> when you're back in your truck, what you do, you see this one here? That's uh, that's your differential lock. Right there, that's your differential lock, which means it locks 
both axles. All right, this right here is off-road. This is during ice, being ice. And this one here is when you're backing up. And you get that jumping back and forth and all that. Well, that one there is, uh, this one here is for when you're backing up so you don't have all that jumping in and, and, and also backing up, <clears throat> you always want to turn this one on. You know, you always want to turn that one on whenever you're backing up. Because this helps you back up, makes it a whole lot easier backing up, and not slamming into the back end of the, um, the dock door, this one here. And so, that's what I like about. And so what I do is I'll push this button, I'll turn that one there on, turn both these on, and turn this one on. And when I do, what happens is it allows these all four here to be locked, these, you know, uh, two axles to be locked here. And once it locks, then it will pull. And what you want to do is you want to shake this trailer. You want to shake the trailer so you can get the, get the weight off of this uh, or get the sometimes when they drop the trailer and they pull out or they slide in and it jams that uh, those gears in there because there's a gear there, right there and that part is where the gears is if it jams it then it's gonna be hard to turn it so that's one thing you can do second thing you can do is if it's uh, real hard if you can you know this thing here right here has got you know, it's got so all the way in is where it's, you know, real, you know, that's when it, that's the first gear. And then you go right there, which is, it's got two, it's got two gears. That's one, and that's two. And uh, so what you do is you just push it in with one gear and then turn it, you know, just bump it there a little bit, find that first gear and turn it. And when you do, crank your truck up. And then whenever you got your truck cranked up and you sort of put a little bit of weight, just make try to put, make a partial round of this, then every time you make a partial round, whenever this trailer goes down, it's gonna, the airbags, them airbags right under there, it's gonna automatically push the trailer up. And then you turn this another little round and then it push weight down and then the airbag's gonna pick up. And it's gonna pick up. And due to this process, um, you'll be able to get you'll be able to get it up, and uh, and be able to get these up to the point where you can start, you know, uh, turning it a whole lot easier. But uh, but uh, that's that's the easy way to do that is turn this right here just a few rounds, or, or just a partial round. Let it let it come over here and come down, and then there you are. You know, it'll start picking it up and then it'll come down when you turn this over here and then the airbags will lift up the trailer uh, it'll lift up the trailer and then you'll get to the point where you can get this or you just call a you know if you're there at a place you can call uh, or go over and motion for um, a yard driver come over there and help you out so you can lift they can lift it up you can roll this uh, no pull this up some so that when you back under it'll pick up the landing gear off the ground uh, but that's the two points and the two tips for the day and I hope you enjoyed it and give us a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithms and subscribe if you like these kind of videos and we will talk to you till next time y'all have a blessed and wonderful day and drive safe